How's it going everyone, Laser Kieran. In today's video, I wanted to show you how you can easily change the RGB settings on your GMMK2 uh, without using the dedicated software. This applies to both the compact version, which I have here, and the regular 96% version, which you can also get from Glorious. So everything is pretty nicely described on the new version of the keyboard. So if you use the function key and uh, different keys, you have the legends below that describe what different buttons do. And for example, if you want to change the effect of the display, you can use the function key and the arrow keys. So if you don't like the default, uh, like the breathing effect or um, the, the color cycle effect, uh, you can use the function key and arrow to change it. This is like a wave effect and so on and so forth. You can cycle through all of them, choose the one that suits you best. If you want to increase or decrease the brightness of the keyboard, you can use the up and down key. So you can decrease the brightness until it's basically turned off. And if, if you want to have a brighter keyboard because uh, your room is really bright, you can just press or hold the up key uh, with the function key and it will increase the brightness. Um, so if you, for example, want to use uh, like this kind of wave Sorry, effect. Sorry, something went wrong. Please try again. So if for, if, for example, you want to use some kind of uh, crazy effect like the, the wave here, you can also change the animation speed of this effect. You just need to use the function key and C to decrease the speed of the animation or V to increase the speed of the animation. So let's try to decrease the speed. So as you can see, it's much slower now. If I'm going to press function and V again, it's going to increase in speed. Now it's much faster. You can also turn on and off the, the animation and uh, the active uh, RGB zone using function and R and Z, but uh, no, it doesn't always apply. Uh, for example, right now I just turned off the uh, button animation and I only have the animation on the side. If I press the RGB again, everything is fully light up. If I press it again, the side um, RGB is turned off and only the buttons light up. Oh, this is pretty nice if you want to like turn off the side uh, lighting because it irritates you. Okay, let's find a static color and I'm going to show you how to change the static color of, of the backlight. This looks like a static color. We have a blue right now. And if you want to change the color, you just use the function key and color to change the effect. We had blue, now we have red, green. Like looks like we only have like three colors here. Um, don't be disheartened. I believe that if you update the software or the firmware on the keyboard, uh, there will be much more colors available. And just give me a second, I will do just that. So I just updated the firmware of the keyboard to the newest version. And like I said, you can find some additional colors here, not only RGB, but also uh, we have like this violet color, white and blue again, red, yellow, green, light green, and, and, and like this uh, neon green. You also have a very nice cyan color, blue again. Uh, this one is violet again. So, you know, if you if you really want to have more colors available, you just need to update the firmware to a newer version and you will have uh, much more colors to choose from. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Laser, and I'll see you soon.